So I'll, I'll look at a patch that I've already made for this, just because it makes things a bit quicker. And it's this one. So this is the poly object. Um, and <clears throat> as you can see, it's got two inlets, and those inlets are receiving input from the note number and the velocity outputs of the case slider. And what happens is that if I press a note, so I'll press middle C, that note of 60, 60 note number and 52 velocity is sent into the poly object and is allocated a number. So the 60 and the 52 come out of the second and third outlets of the poly object and the voice number, because that's what this left hand um, output or outlet is for, gives us a number one. Um, maybe actually what I should do is to uh, send some of this information to the uh, max window because it will make it slightly clearer. Um, uh, so I better turn that off, start again. Right, so again, um, <clears throat> the, the poly outputs the uh, voice number, first of all, then the uh, note number and then the velocity, which is coming out as a list here because I'm packing it. Um, if I then press another note, so I'll press an E this time, we get that note number, so 64 and the velocity of 43, along with a voice number of 2, which is coming out here. And then if I press a third one, we get uh, 67 and 43, with uh, it allocated a voice number of 3. What's cunning about poly is that it remembers which note numbers were allocated to which voice. So if I then turn uh, the E note off, or release it if I was on actually playing on a keyboard, then you will notice that it remembers that that voice was allocated to voice number two. So it sends the number two along with the, the note number and a velocity of zero in order to switch that note off. That then liberates voice number two, which can then be allocated to another note that I might press down now. So if I press down one now, I get uh, the note number two again, but this time allocated to the, vo the, the note 55 and obviously being given a, a velocity of 43. Um, and I can keep adding notes until I get to number 5. Whereupon it doesn't respond anymore. Okay, So it can only accommodate 5 notes, which means that my voices, once allocated, can't be um, usurped, if you like, by new note information coming in. That is to say, is unlike with the previous model I did, where using count, it would just go back to count one again and kind of obliterate what was in there before. Um, so now again, if I re release notes four and say, um, um, well, whichever they were, um, these two here, notes four, uh, sorry, voices four and one are now liberated, which means I can allocate them to other notes. Um, so um, how come that's useful? Well, if you remember, I said that uh, the voices, five, five voices that we have here, both they, they need note on information and note off information in order to turn them on and off or, or get them to sound or not sound. Um, but we need to know, having initiated each of those notes, which of those voices uh, we are sending the off information to. And basically, Poly enables us to do that. So what we'll do is we will integrate that Poly object into the um, patch. And we will, this time, just as last time, we'll use a root object to do that. Um, obviously, you know, there are other ways to, to use the Poly object. In fact, we'll look at another way shortly. But uh, for the moment, we will do uh, add in a Poly object here. <clears throat> and we'll stick with five voices, although you could have uh, many more. I don't, I don't know whether it's got a limit. You'll have a look in the um, uh, in the help file. It'll tell you, I expect. So uh, we're going to a poly object, and then um, I'm going to a pack object, which is going to 
have three fields for the three um, available bits of this. So that wasn't very clear. The three available out outlets from Poly. <coughs> and just as before, we're going to use a root object. So one, two, three, four, five for the five voices. And send that one to number one, that one to number two, that one to number three, four, and five. And there you have it. So hopefully, all being well. One voice, two voice, three voice, four voice, and five voice. And then if I try and add a fifth, a sixth voice uh, or sixth note, nothing happens. But if I released uh, this one, then um, we can we can hear the the the, the, the new note. Um, <clears throat> so. 